Yeah, and I mean, people should know that TD Gammon was, I get, would you call it, do you like the terminology of self-play by any chance? Sure. So, so like systems that learn by playing themselves, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just, I don't know if it's the best word, but. Uh, so what's what's the problem with that term? Oh, cause, I don't know. Silly, it's like the Big Bang, like it's, it's like talking to serious physicists. Do you like the term Big Bang? And when when it was early, I feel like it's the early days of self play. I don't know, maybe it was used previously, but I think it's been used by only a small group of people. Oh. And so, like, I think we're still deciding: is this ridiculously silly name a good name for the con potentially one of the most important I concepts see. in artificial intelligence? Well, okay, it depends how broadly you apply the term. So, I used the term in my 1996 PhD dissertation. Oh, so you was, I, wow, the actual term. So yeah, because because oh, I didn't know Tesaro's this. paper was something like um, training up an expert backgammon player through self play. So, I think oh, it was in the title of his paper. Wow, okay, if not in the title, it was definitely a term that he used. No, there's another term that we got from that work is rollout. So I don't know if you do you ever hear the term rollout? That's a backgammon term that has now applied Whoa. generally in computers. Well, at least in in AI, yeah, because of TD gammon. Yeah, that's fascinating. So how is self play being used now? And like, why is it? Does it does it feel like a more general, powerful concept? It's sort of the idea of well, the machine's just going to teach itself to be smart. Yeah. So that's that's where maybe you can correct me. But that's where you know the continuation of the spirit and actually like literally the exact algorithms of TD Gamma are applied by DeepMind and OpenAI to learn games that are a little bit more complex. Mm -hmm. That when I was learning artificial intelligence, Go was presented to me with uh, artificial intelligence, the modern approach. I don't know if they explicitly pointed to Go in those books so. uh, as like unsolvable kind of thing, like implying that these approaches hit their limit in this uh, with these particular kind of games. So something, I don't remember if the book said it or not, but something in my head, or if it was the professors, instilled in me the idea, like this is the limits of artificial intelligence mm -hmm. of the field. Like it, it instilled in me the idea that if we can create a system that can solve the game of Go, we've achieved AGI. That was kind of, I didn't explicitly like say this, but it, that was the feeling. And so from, I was one of the people that it seemed magical when a learning system was able to, to beat a, uh, a, a human world champion at the game of Go. And even more so from that, that was AlphaGo, even more so with AlphaGo Zero than kind of renamed and advanced into Alpha Zero, beating a world champion or world-class player without any supervised learning on expert games. We're doing only through, by playing itself. Mm -hmm. 